The airplane is a symbol. It's a replica of the world's first scheduled airliner. And I always say, I've got to say that again. A replica of the world's first scheduled airliner. Happened right here in little old St. Petersburg. There was a big crowd down here January the 1st, 1914, to watch the first flight go off from St. Pete to Tampa. And they stood around and waited for it to come back because airplanes were very, very unusual. And to see one taking off and carrying a passenger and starting an airline was something that some of them really knew what that was going to mean. Flew from St. Petersburg to Tampa, back again twice a day, regular schedule, with a three-month contract with the city of St. Petersburg. Tony Janis and his brother Roger were the pilots for the airline. J.D. Smith, that's not initials, that's name, J.D. Smith, was the mechanic and a very good one in order to keep that Roberts six-cylinder, 75-horse, two-cycle engine running. Tony had a way with the ladies, shall we say, they all seemed to enjoy being around him. So he was quite the ladies' man while he was in town from the records that we've seen. The logs of the airline show that they flew 1,205 people during that three-month contract. They were here for a few weeks after the contract was over before they finally took the airplane out and Tony Janis went other places to fly. Uh, he flew later on in his life in Russia for Curtis Aircraft Company. He flew Curtis flying boats, were teaching pilots in Russia to fly. Uh, they lost an airplane and Tony Janis over there during that time. Tom Benoit. He was from the St. Louis area, as I remember. He had a business up there where he was selling aircraft parts, which was unusual. I think it was probably the first place in the country that was flying or that was um, selling parts for aircraft that people could use. He was using some of the things that he'd seen on other airplanes that seemed to be flying pretty good. He had gone to London and had those three contracts in his pocket or a contract in his pocket for three aircraft that when he stepped off of a streetcar into a light pole and that caused his death. His brother took over the company and went from there with it, but he, he didn't have the expertise that, that Tom had, so it, it just didn't really go on. But he may have been flying in Benoit's today instead of some of the others that are out there.